all praise belongs to allah the one the mighty the most merciful and the most forbearing hello my dear sweet young learners hope all of you are going on well with your studies and you are staying healthy wherever you stay this is your english teacher mohammed iqbal hasan sunam from daffodils high school one of the best and one of the most disciplined school in dhaka bangladesh this class has been furnished for the students of class 7 for assignment for first subject english english second paper topic third assignment your assignment includes three grammatical items that are tenses right form of verbs preposition and article students from your primary level you have been learning about tense so what you should do is revising the topic and after that you should revise the topic right form of verbs here i have learned three rules on right form of verbs these rules have been applied to your facets to your facets given to you as your assignment task if you revise these three rules you will you will be able to solve your assignment task now you, you already have learned these three rules but i will now discuss this uh, because it will remind you and it can refresh you attention please dear students write more verbs the first rule here i have written is if the words or phrases you find in any sentence or any sentence contains or holds these phrases or words the tenses of the verb of those sentences will be present continuous those phrases or words are now at this moment presently at present currently nowadays these words or phrases should be memorized by you to avoid grammatical error or mistake present continuous it means uh, these phrases or words take present continuous tense structure subject plus am slash is slash are that means in accordance with the subject you should use am or is or are and after that you should use the main verb adding ing at the end of the main verb here i have given an example eg means exemplary gratia meaning for example or for instance now i am conducting a class in the sentence you can see the word now that means the sentence holds the word now so the tenses of the verb of the sentence should be in present continuous tense so here i am i have used present continuous tense subject i auxiliary verb am because i takes auxiliary verb am and after that uh, after main verb i used ing this is present continuous tense i am conducting a class just the second rule just just now yet already lately recently meanwhile if the if you find this words or phrases in any sentence the tenses of the verb of the of that sentences should be in present perfect tense structure subject plus have slash has plus b3 b3 means first participle form of any verb here you can see an example eg we have already watched the class completely you can see a word already this is uh, if you find these words or phrases in any sentence the tenses the tense of the verb of this of that sentence should be in present perfect tense so i have used present perfect tense in the sentence subject we auxiliary verb have this is because subject we always take auxiliary verb have and after that i have used present participle form of main verb the third and last rule at last long ago once upon a time in the first yesterday if you find these words or phrases in any sentence or any sentence contains these words or phrases you should and must use uh, the first indefinite tense in that sentence uh, we can call it in another way simple first you can see an example regarding the rules yesterday a terrible road accident happened in the sentence we can see the word yesterday the sentence contains the word yesterday so you should use past indefinite tense in the sentence 
here you can say the first form of mind verb happened present form happened the first form of that verb happened is happened it happened it this is because in the sentence you can see the the word the first indicating word yesterday so we have used it past indefinite tense uh, dear students now uh, take your textbook named english grammar and composition and and turn turn the phrase to 83 83 83 uh, from this page from this phrase to phrase phrase number 89 uh, here you will find rules regarding article and you will also find some exercises that have been given to you as your assignment task as your assignment task uh, you already have learned uh, many rules regarding article this is an easy topic so uh, there is no need to discuss this further uh, because time is very limited fill in the gaps yeah, here you will only write answer not you, you should not write the full uh, context full facets uh, students uh, now you will have to turn the phrase to 65 in your in your textbook from phase to 65 to seventy-two. So, sorry, seventy-three. Seventy-three. Here you, you will find some rules on prepositions, and you will also find uh, some exercises. But attention, please, dear students. Uh, this passage is not included from your textbook. This passage is given within. Uh, from another context uh, you will have to answer you will have to uh, write only answer uh, from uh, over the facets you should not write write the facets completely but when you when you answer the right more verbs you should write full facets this is because the instruction reads this way this way rewrite the facets using correct form of verbs in the bracket it means you should write completely the facets at this stage of my class uh, there is another talk on another topic this is this is about hygiene uh, you understand that uh, what i'm going to say the second wave of corona, uh, deadly coronavirus is hitting hard across the world including Bangladesh. So you easily understand that you should use mask, you should wear mask while going, going out and you should use hand sanitizer before, before or after any work. You also can use soap ashes what, whatever it is available at your hand so be cautious be cautious about using mask and hand sanitizer soap soap and ashes please be safe stay safe thank you